What's up? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks so much for being here and for being subscribed if you are. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening to this on YouTube while you're at it, hit that like button. It's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch. We just want to go ahead and brighten up the place. Let's get into this conversation slash reality chat. All right, guys, it's hard for me to feel bad for Kim Zolciak. She I just, in my personal opinion, she loves the K's. She's a Kim. She married a Croy. She's got all of her kids that she's had with Croy named with a K. And now I feel like she's just getting her karma. But it's kind of funny that that karma might be in some way, shape, or form coming from the hands of her own child. Because... It recently was reported that Brielle, she shared some information about her mom that just may not be favorable in this child custody battle that she's going to be having right now with Croy because Croy has filed for full custody of the kids and he pretty much doesn't want to have anything to do with her. He doesn't want her in the home that they share anymore, even though they're living in the home together. I believe the house is 17,000 square feet. So there's definitely enough space for them to be separated in this mansion. Although there was a story that came out a few weeks ago where he called the police because she wouldn't get out of the master bathroom. Like how many bathrooms do you have in that house? Like I've seen homes that are like 3,500, 4,000 square feet that have three, four, even five bathrooms in them. So there really was no excuse for that. But anyway, yeah, Kim is just, she's not in a favorable place right now because so much has come out about the way she handled finances, the gambling addiction, and some people may not see gambling like using drugs or alcohol being extremely dangerous but it can be for a lot of people it really it really can be they don't have gambling addiction being called a thing for nothing it's a real thing and it definitely is something that put them in a bad space because right now their finances are in tr- trouble and croy hasn't worked in years regularly he was an nfl football player and they did have the the show on Bravo, which was probably their main source of income, but that was canceled after eight seasons. And even them getting that, I just don't feel that they deserved it. But a lot of times people like her, they get stuff that they really don't deserve. They really didn't earn, but you know, she got it. Well, recently Brielle came out and he, she shared a story about a time based on this gambling addiction that her mom, I feel, put her in a space that could have been potentially dangerous. So Brielle shares this story about this one time that Kim drove her two hours to a North Carolina casino. And she was 20 years old at the time, so it wasn't like she had a baby in the car seat and left the kid in the car. But she said she was forced to wait in the car until three in the morning because she wasn't 21 so she couldn't go into this casino so with this the father's day just happening she wished her dad because he did adopt her so he is her dad a happy father happy father's day on social media she did unfollow him at first initially when the divorce filings happened but she refollowed him Because I do believe she really loves him. He may not be her biological dad, but he definitely has been there for those kids. Like I said, when he married Kim, he gave Brielle and Ariana rings as well. So, I mean, Kim had this dude. She had him. She messed. (laughs) She really messed up a good thing because for whatever reason, this man really, truly, I believe, loved her in a short period of time. They were not together that long before they got married and they stayed married for 11 years. So that's no small feat. All right. Well, anyway, Brielle says, one time I was walking out to go to dinner and my mom said, get in the car. We're going somewhere. 
I was like, uh, where? She said, Shh, secret, get in. Two hours later, we end up at a casino in North Carolina. I was 20 and had to stay in the car the whole time. We were there till 3 a.m. Now, you tell me, does that sound like a responsible parent? <laughs> and Brielle sharing the story on social media. This is definitely information that Croy can use in his child custody battle to prove that Kim is not a responsible parent. And even other things that they could showcase from the show, like I just don't understand why Brielle would come out here and put this post on social media thinking that that was a, you know, a smart thing to do. Yeah, definitely is entertaining for us and maybe even funny to others. But when it comes to her mom fighting to have custody of the children, <coughs> excuse me, I had to clear my throat, but this definitely isn't going to help her case. I don't know how much it's going to hurt it, but it definitely isn't going to help it. So when I saw that she shared this information, I was just like, wow, Brielle, I get it. You love your dad too. And that's that's great. But this could possibly potentially hurt your mom where she could lose custody of all of those kids and possibly have to pay Croy child support. Like, do you want that for your mom? Listen, I'm not saying that it wouldn't be deserved. I'm not even saying that, but I'm just saying that even though this is your dad, Kim has been your mom longer than she's been your dad. I'm not saying don't do the right thing. I'm not even saying to lie, but sometimes silence is golden and Brielle needs to learn how to keep her mouth <laughs> shut and not post all of these different things like that on social media. Talk about yourself. Like she talked about doing lip fillers and going overboard. If you feel that, feel that need and that urge to speak and share stuff on social media, talk about yourself. But I wouldn't come out here and share information like that. So I don't know if that's going to stay up there on social media. But even though it is something that she could potentially take down, the, the blogs have already got it. Because that's where I got it from, okay? Because I don't follow her on social media, so I definitely wouldn't even know. So I wanted to talk about this because I just really felt that that was a foolish thing for her to do. But she's young and, you know, dumb sometimes. She's done a number of other dumb things, so this wouldn't be the first time and probably will not be the last. But you guys let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section because I really felt like with in light of everything that's going on right now, Croy is probably loving the fact that she shared this information so that he has something that he can add to his arsenal of his case to prove that he is the more worthy parent of getting custody of those kids. And in Georgia, in Atlanta, that's not a far-fetched thing for, you know, it to to be. It definitely can happen. It's happened for other men. They've gotten custody of their children and it could definitely happen for Croy, especially just depending on who the judge is in the case. So guys, let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Thank you so much for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth. I'm just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I just wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.